sister and brother surfers of the binary ocean, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily access iCloud Drive from the terminal on Mac OS. So the goal for this video, the idea is that we want to be able to put in a command like iCloud and get to the iCloud folder. As you can see right now, that's not working. Uh, so the only way that you would be able to get to iCloud is to, you know, CD to the right directory, which is like, uh, I think this. I think that'll get us there, maybe. Yeah, so, uh, but then if there's something in iCloud you want, it's all like cryptic here. Like your folders have these com tilde apple, comma tilde pages. Um, yeah, so all the folders are kind of weird. So there's a lot easier way to do it. So let's just go back to our home directory. So uh, the first thing you wanna do is figure out what shell you're using in your terminal. And uh, it's probably either ZSH or bash. And you can look, usually look right at the top of your terminal. Mine says it's really small, but it says ZSH there. But you can also check just by going echo dollar sign shell. And it'll tell you, it'll say uh, bash there. If it's bash, it says ZSH for mine. Uh, Apple, re like probably a year or so ago, I'm not really sure how long, but they started using ZSH by default instead of bash. So, um, so it, you're probably using ZSH if you're not sure, but you can always just check with that echo shell. So if you're using ZSH, you want to go nano.zshrc, and if you're using bash, you want to go nano.bashrc. And uh, from there, it's going to be the same thing either way. Bashrc uh, just pulls up a you know a file in the nano text editor, and uh, we'll put uh, the alias in there, and I'll explain that in a minute. And uh, ZSH, same thing. So we're going to go into the ZSH file since that's what I'm on right now. And you can see I have a couple things in here. We're just going to go to the bottom of that and put uh, the command alias. That tells uh, ZSH that we want to run something every time we call whatever command is right after this alias. So I'm going to call it iCloud, put an equal sign, and then we want to CD, change directory, and then a space. And so now we're going to go, we're going to navigate. So you want to go to... Um, your home folder, which is where, you know, where like your documents folder is and movies and all that stuff. If you need help getting there, you can go to uh, go and just go to home and it'll open it up there. Uh, yeah, it's in my favorites. But so anyway, once you're in your home folder, you want to go to library, mobile documents. And when you double click, so if you want your whole iCloud drive, just drag that mobile documents right onto the terminal and it's going to put the folder path in there for you. And then at the very end of that line, uh, with no spaces, you want to put a quote, a double quote, just to, just to close that first double quote that's right here so that that command works. Um, but I actually want a specific folder in my iCloud drive. So I'm going to back that up and uh, just go into this mobile documents. And, or you can just go to your iCloud drive if you have that in your sidebar. And then um, I want this drive folder. So I'm just gonna drag this. Now you can't just, so one thing to watch out for, you cannot just uh, go to library, mo documents, drag this on and then put like um, slash uh, drive. It just doesn't work because there's weird iCloud naming conventions. So you just go to your iCloud and just drag it on there and it'll pick up the naming convention. You can see that's like, documents slash com backslash tilde apple backslash tilde cloud doc slash drive. And then we want that double quotes again at the end. And we'll just get rid of that space there. And uh, so that's it. So now every time I type iCloud in the terminal after I save this, it's going to change directory to my iCloud, that drive folder that I have. So uh, to save it, you want to do control X and it's going to say save modified buffer and you just want to say hit Y for yes. And you're just going to save it with the same file name. So just hit enter. Now, uh, I don't know, we might have to restart terminal here. Yeah. So then you just uh, close your terminal, open a new one. Now, if we put iCloud, 
it brings me to my iCloud folder and I can see all my stuff that's in there. So that is uh, the easiest way I think there is to access iCloud. And then if you ever, you know, if you want to get out of iCloud and just go back to your home folder, you can just do CD and then a tilde and it just brings you back to your, you know, your user, your home folder. Pretty simple. And uh, once you once you have that alias in there, you know, you're, you're good to go. That's how you do it. It's the easiest way that I know of to access iCloud Drive from the terminal on Mac OS. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and peace out.